One of the questions that I ponder a lot is, we, we know what matters, right? We know that more instability matters to the market, right? We, we know that if you have central banks around the world, not just one, but collectively printing money, and that printed money buys equities and buy bonds, we, we know that matters, right? We know these things matter. We know that with 78 million baby boomers uh, and you know 10,000 of them retiring every single day, we know that matters because it's gonna impact the way they spend and how they invest, right? We, we know these things matter. We know central bank manipulation matters. I'll call it manipulation and not money printing. We, we know this, right? And we also know that the, the amount of people that are passively investing, we, we know that matters, right? They're, they're just, I will use the word blindly just because I can't think of another word, but they're, they're blindly just putting their money into the market, right? We know that matters because we don't actually know what's gonna happen when the market corrects and the market's been going up, we know in hindsight since 2009. So we know a lot of what matters and, and newsletters and, and money shows, they talk about what matters. But here's the thing. The, the question is when does it matter, right? When does it matter that central banks are printing money, that central banks are buying exchange traded funds that the Japanese central bank owns, more than half of all the Japanese ETFs that the Swiss National Bank, I believe, owns nine, uh, owns 3% of Apple and has 65 pages listing all the equities they own. The question is, when is that gonna matter? When is it gonna matter that the, um, the US Central Bank is raising their interest rates? When is that gonna matter, right? When I talk to people or when I read their emails, what they're listing is what matters. What, look at this, this matters, this matters, this matters, what matters? And I think the what matters part is the easy part and, and I'm not, disrespecting them. It's easy to find what matters, right? It's easy to look for what matters because our, our spidey senses can, can, can go, you know, central banks collectively printing $15 trillion. That matters. The question I want you to ponder is when does it matter? Hey everybody, this is RC Peck and this is my At A Glance video. And if you find this of value, please like, share and forward it. And the question I want you to just sit with, and I'm gonna dig into it more this weekend, is when does it matter? Because that's the question I want you to ask, right? It, it, it makes it harder for you to, to get on one side or the other side, right? I think Trump coming in and running the country, running the country, when does that matter? It clearly hasn't mattered yet, or maybe it has mattered, and the market's just like, oh my gosh, this guy's amazing. He's gonna cut taxes to almost nothing, right? We know what's going on. When does it matter? When does it matter that I believe the bigger bubble, and man, that word bubble is over well, it is overused a lot. When does the bond bubble start to show itself? I think the passive investing bubble, or there is a passive investing bubble, right? People are just blindly buying. Sovereign wealth countries are just blindly buying. Um, central banks around the world are just blindly buying exchange traded funds. When is that going to matter? I think what when you ask yourself this question, it helps you to uh, allow your system to calm down a little bit, right? Because you're saying, of course it matters. We're not debating whether it matters or not. And a lot of times when I find myself on the other side of an argument, which I didn't mean to be on, they're really talking about the what's. And yet you're right, all those things matter. What I simply point out most of the time is, and the market knows all that, and it is still going up, which is not me to say the market's always gonna go up every day at all times. Close your eyes, just buy, everything's gonna work out. So the question I just wanna leave you with is when. And what I wanna dig into this weekend is, I, I wanna show you the last five corrections. I don't wanna show you 2008 where the market fell 58%. Most people already know that, or the dot-com crash correction where the market fell 49%. Um, even the debt ceiling debacle, which was close to 20%, I wanna show you a bunch of 10, 15% corrections and just show you what those look like because corrections are coming. 
Corrections are part of a market and most people are not ready for correction. So it'll be interesting to see what happens when something happens and if that when is a big when or if it's a normal correction. So visit me, <laughs> come with me for this weekend and I'll dig into and I'm gonna show you some pretty amazing charts where it shows you when these things finally showed up. We knew about them for years, but when they finally showed up and it's identifying and watching the when part which is the difference that makes a difference. And that's really the way to have you start to focus. When is it going to happen? When is it going to show up in the market? And then that allows you to be on the right side of the market. Hey guys, this is just another step in helping you protect your portfolio and your future. Until next time, this is RC Peck. And hey guys, if you value this, please like, share, and forward it because it makes a difference. All right, take care of yourselves. Thanks.